morning, mate. How are you? Oh, I've been better, but hey, don't you worry about me. Oh, how's Stair? Uh, not too good, actually. But anyway, don't you guys have an appointment today? Yeah, more blood tests. Um, can we change the subject, please? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I would have sleep. Yeah, 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 sit down, darling. Yeah, can't you turn the telly on? How good are you? Just, uh, feel so helpless, mate. Join the club. Ty, there's no channels coming up. What? Phone 0800 blah, blah, blah to renew your subscription. What? We have paid the bill, haven't we? Yeah, of course. Must just be a fault or something. Oh, I'll give him a call. No, it's all right. I'll do it. Yeah, but Ty, if Look, I'm... you've got I'll... enough on your plate, darling. I'll sort it. If another person says, are you OK, hon, one more time, I swear I'm going to scream. Who's saying that? Do you know what? I bet they're all having a good laugh behind my back. People coming out of the woodwork I've not heard from in ages. OMG, Steph, I can't believe he's done this. Lol. Lol. I will give him lol. It's just all, all the comments on the pictures. That I... <sighs> I've stopped reading them. Do you know what? Ignore them. I have done nothing to be ashamed of. I saw my ex-boyfriend put a naked picture of me on the internet. So what? So I want to smash his face in, that's what. And every bloke who's written all those vile things about you. Oh, please. One man ruins my life, the other steps up to rescue me. I can take care of myself, thank you. Yeah, well, you haven't managed it very well this far, have you? Oh, look, that, that was out of order. I'm sorry. <sighs> all of these comments are just keyboard warriors. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, well, you can't blame me for being angry. It's my dignity that's in the gutter, not yours. Hiya, come in. Hiya, you all right? Yeah, yeah, all good here. You got a text from Sinead. <sighs> oh, you shouldn't have come over. I said about Brown when I'd finished up. Oh, yeah, I just thought I'd save you a journey. Oh, here they are. Oh, that is so sweet of you. Thank you. It's just a few magazines and colouring in things, you know, for Hope while she's in hospital. Oh. She's dead thoughtful, my girlfriend. Stop buttering me up, will you? I can't win, can I? No, so quit while you're behind. Hey, what's the matter? What's going on? Nothing. Everything's fine. Yeah, looks like it. Anyway, it's none of my business, so tell her. I don't care. Linda's offered to pay for tickets for us both to go to Portugal again. Right. We'll be there and back before Christmas, only she doesn't want to go. Is she the cat's mother? Well, she doesn't want to go. Well, it's too short notice. I wouldn't be able to get off work anyway. I'm sure Carla would give you time off, you know, if it's a family matter. Really? All they go on about at that place these days, you know, is how it's all hands to the pump. Well, you could at least ask. Well, they'd glue us to the seats if they could. But anyway, thanks for the magazines. Well, stay and have a brew scene as you're already here. No, no. I'll leave you to it. I've got errands to run. Thanks again, Sinead. I'm sure you two will sort something out. Yeah, yeah, I think the payment bounced. Well, I have got another card, yeah. And the long one is 0899-1559-1390-1680. Yeah, 698. And that's 1216. What, are you joking, man? Uh, no, I, I have got another one, but you're just going to have to wait a minute, OK? Yeah. You hang up. No, you hang up. Oh. Bye, then. I was Brendan. He's such a wag. <laughs> I would have thought he was persona non thingy after last night. Grata. Oh, thank you, Professor. Well, it's not his problem that his auntie was, and as his lady's present, let's just say, was having gastric issues. Ooh, I'm honoured. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I tell you one thing. He can punctuate a text beautifully. Look. <laughs> oh, I think we can take your word for that. <laughs> Glad to think what he sends. <sighs> Do you know, it's Dev we should be really worrying about. Should we? Why? Well, he's done his usual thing of throwing himself in feet first. With who? Erica? Oh, well, she's a very handsome woman. A, a rather more statuesque version of Princess Grace, you remember, of Monaco. Well, it wouldn't be of Moss side, would it? Well, I think she's a bit of a needy piece. She seems OK. Yeah, probably a Gemini. Oh, a 
I didn't know you did horoscopes. No, Dev needs to take a leaf out of my book. Oh, here we go. You remember, she writing a novel. How could I forget? Yes, it's sort of autobiographical. The, the lead character is called Roxy. Mm. <laughs> Roxy. I'm more of a Roxy than she is. Look, I'm talking euphemistically about my book of life. Oh, uh, not your novel, then. You're writing another one as well. And it'd be called Relax, Take Your Time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. The right one comes along eventually. We must have a very big front cover. <laughs> now, did you come in for anything special or just to moon over Brendan? I've come in for a birthday card, actually, oh, for my cousin Gracie. Oh, the one with the nose? No, the other one. Mind you, well, I'll just bob Brendan a text first. I might introduce some emojis into our badinage. We're at that stage now. Huh? What's emojis? emojis? Hiya, come in. Oh, yeah, it was Simon's first session today. Oh, yeah, he's just through there. Yeah, nice it? one. Just wanted to say good luck, really. You all right, mate? Just wanted to say good luck with the counselling today and to see if you fancy to kick about in the park after school tonight. Uh, yeah, if you want. You're nervous? About the fight. I'll take that as a yes, then. Right, come on, you. Let's go. Sorry to best you will be late, but I can do whatever I want. Could kill him. Not you as well. Look, this is nobody's fault but Jamie's and mine with letting him take those stupid pictures. I am so sorry. Steph. <laughs> Steph, look at me. There's something you need to know. What? What has happened now? Mum and Dad have been trying to get in touch with you. I had to tell you. Hey, it's, it's nothing I've seen before. Sorry. I'll be fine. It, it's fine. I'll be all right. You don't have to put on a brave face for me. It's all right. Never better. But I'm fine. I just need to get on my work. Yeah, she does. Hey, now, have you got any people signed up for this uh, boot camp? Yep, eight so far. Hey, um, that's good work, dude. Yeah, I want everyone to feel welcome, because I bet people are put off uh, coming places uh, like uh, this, because uh, they... Uh, uh, now, don't say management, OK? Because uh, they think everyone's going to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whew. But by letting me run a boot camp on the Red Wreck... This is good. This is very good. You take the gym to the community, you see? Yeah, I know. It might be less intimidating, and then people will come back here and get membership. It's what Dad used to do. Oh, now don't they get this. Listen, mate, if you want to win Grandad over, you've got to prove you've got the nails to run this place. But don't you do that. For now. So what was the problem? Uh, it was just the connection to the telly. No. I just waggled a few cables around and it was fine. Oh, it's like when they say we tried no. switching it off and back on again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no. I want some. Oh. No. Yeah? Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hang um. on. No. Hey, is it nice having your cartoons back on? Oh, right, Buzz. Oh, hiya, Buzz. Ties, Buzz. All right, Buzz. Hi, mate. This it? This is the Santa? Brilliant. Yep, one well, massive inflatable Santa. Goes on the roof and that, cos you're a little girl, you know, with the cancers. Yeah, Buzz, honestly, it is so sweet of you to give us this. Thank you so much. Yeah? <laughs> Ty, mate, I know you're a little girl's poorly, but it's not a freebie, you know what I'm saying, Buzz? No, I know that, but she doesn't, so... I mean, I know I didn't actually pay for it, but I got my landlord going nuts because my rent's late. I'm gonna need paying for this soon now. Right, yeah, yeah, I'll get it sorted. Uh, how much did you say it was again? Only 150. Appreciate that, Ty, I hate to ask. Yeah, no problem. Unlike this then. Ty. Ty? I hope your little girl's okay. So do I, Buzz. So do I. <laughs> 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 You all right? Andy, you give us out that delivery is here. Oh, yeah, sure. Tear up. Might never happen. <laughs> <laughs>
Did you know that Roy made them specially for you? Yeah, the magic beans. They are. I'm going to make you better before you go to hospital. Although you don't get bean stalks with these ones. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, look, here he is, right? Even he wants you to eat some. Oh, oh there's a good girl. Not going down too well. Oh, it's not a reflection on your culinary skills, Roy. How about I make her a nice milkshake? I'm quite good at those, and everybody loves a milkshake. Yeah, go on, that'd be lovely. I was hoping for something a bit more wholesome before your blood test, but go on, time for plan B. Chocolate milkshake, sure you're one of your five a day? <laughs> Just wish you had time to put that inflatable up. Is it inflatable? Yeah, ties, mate. Baz has given us an inflatable Santa for the roof. Shame we couldn't have it up by the time we got her back. Yeah, people are so generous. Well, perhaps I could be of some help in some way. You know, you've not got head frights, have you, Roy? Well, I, I could find someone who has. Uh, well, don't look at me. I'd need six Valium and a safety net. No, honestly, it's, it's fine. We've got a lot. What about Chesney? He'll help. Can only ask. No, it's fine. Ty, come on. You can't do everything. You've got to accept people's help when they offer it. I, I'll go get my coat and I'll find Chesney. What? You can't do everything. Oh, you are a very kind man. Well, I'm just trying to offer practical help. Yeah, whatever. Very kind man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one tagliatelle and one squid risotto. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what are we laughing at? What is so funny? Eh? Hey? I'm not stupid. So I, I don't know what you're on about, love. Don't call me love. I asked you a question. Uh, will you calm down, darling? What's so funny? Come on, show me! I mean, just his ice bucket challenge from last year, if you must know. Yes, yeah, so is that all right with you? I'll have to run everything by you when we're eating here. <laughs> Big brother's watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I thought... I'm sorry. What? what? Steph. Just, just leave me alone. Mel, keep an eye on things for a bit, please. Just got to go somewhere. You sure that's attached to the, uh, that thing? To the thing? Yeah. Uh, the window frame, yes. Yep, sure is. It's like DIY, so what's this? You're Lawrence Wim Bowen, and he's a thingy, uh, Linda Barker. As a rule, I, I, I detest this sort of palaver, but as, as it's for a good cause. Mm. Do you watch it right? No, thank you. Ah, mm. oh, little up can be chuffed to bits, bless her. Well, that is the intention. Mm. I love inflatables, me. There was this bloke, Mr Blobby in the Arndale once, right, when I was a toddler, and I was obsessed with him. I kept trying to kiss him. Weird or what? Can you switch it on, Sinead? All right. Done it! So what's he like, then? Is he dishy? Oh, but if you look Brendan up in a thesaurus, it would indeed say dishy. And dreamboat and... and rugged and... and manly. Oh, I do like a manly man. I mean, I really like camp blokes and all, but not as a partner. Oh, he's a total antithesis of camp. Oh, well, belting. Not worse than when their handbag's bigger than yours, is there? <laughs> <laughs> not exactly marriage material. <laughs> <sighs> all right, kids. Mary's just been telling me all about a new fella. Oh, well, of course she has. She can talk about nothing else at the moment. Poppycock and thrice poppycock. I had an in-depth conversation on the works of J.K. Rowling just this morning with the big issue vendor. Uh, lard vodka tonic, a half a bitter and a small sherry when you're ready. And anyway, he'll be here in a second, so please, rein in your rudeness, sweet cheeks. Who will? The big issue seller? I'm not rude, I'm just honest. Ah, oh, well, it's a fine line, isn't it? No, Eva, Brendan. And you're very quiet, Emily. Don't you want to slag off my man as well? Oh, no, of course not. 
Though, I, I do worry that you've gone a bit, um... Yes, Ooh. hell for leather for him. <laughs> My fear is that you're investing an awful lot in what to a, a lowly outsider appears to be but a casual friendship. But correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I will correct you, because you are wrong. Brendan and I are soulmates, just moments away from making it official. A little bit of feedback for you, Emily. But out. Well, you did ask for her opinion. You're not exactly Elizabeth Taylor when it comes to men, are you? She is. What? I you beg your pardon. Brendan. How do? Oh, I'm very well, Sausage. Let me hit you with a pint. I'll get these. What are you having, ladies? Uh, we've already ordered. Oh, but we'll accept your kind offer with the good grace with which it was offered. Norris, stop trying to talk, Posh. You work in a toffee shop. Come on. Oh, well, maybe next week you can pay for the cab. Go on, sir. You're more than welcome. Raise your piggy bank. Maybe next week I won't go. No, maybe next week it'll be a better session. It won't, because I'm not going back. We'll talk about this inside. Nothing more to say. Stuff's just getting worse. Yeah, I'm not surprised, mate. I just feel so... so powerless. I mean, just imagine how she must be feeling. Do you know what I think? Go on. I think it's time we taught Jamie a lesson. Yeah, but she doesn't want me to do anything. I can't get away with it. It's big, isn't it? Yeah, quite. Oh, my gosh. He's so better looking than Mr Blobby. You don't think it's a little, um... What? Well, uh, excessive. Well, it's not for us, though, is it? No. no. So, recap. What's the checklist for when someone joins the gym? OK, medical evaluation, technical and, um... Procedural. Procedural orientation. Plan an interview. What does the medical evaluation entail? Height, weight, blood pressure, heart rate. Orientation. Um, mapping out the location of changing rooms, water, machines, health and safety, followed by technical instruction of machines. OK. Let's talk cardio. Oh, Dad, look at that. That's well cool. Now, who put that monstrosity up there? That's a nice saw. Wow, that's awesome. Look, it's for Hope. She's a holy. Just trying to make the most of this Christmas for her. Good work, Mr Cropper. Good work. Can we have one of those on our roof? Shut up. Get in. Brendan, tell them about the time you got your words mixed up on the phone to the library. <laughs> well, there was this time I was on... <laughs> hey, this is so funny, this. And I was on the phone to the library. Which library? Oh, it doesn't matter, Emily. Oh, if you're going to die laughing. Oh, there's worse ways to go, I suppose. Can I just tell a story? <laughs> Sorry, friend. I, I forgot what I'm up to now. You're on the phone to a library. That's it, that's it. So, anyway, picture the scene. There I am, on the phone <laughs> to the library. <laughs> oh, this kills me, honestly. <laughs> anyway, I was meant to order this book for a course that my mother was doing at the time. I, I, I forget which course. I'm assuming English. <laughs> oh, well, you can't be expected to remember everything, friend, friend. <laughs> now, I was meant to ask for A Tale of Two Cities. Dickens. Go okay, away. But actually, in fact, what I said was <laughs> the old curiosity shop. <laughs> I don't get it if I miss something. No. <laughs> Shall we take a boo? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Say it again. Stop it, stop it. Stop it, Now, what if I'm to say I'm the same personal trainer, but five, no, ten minutes before the class, you just put in the schedule, I phone up and cancel because I got food poisoning. What do you do now? Burst out crying because it's taken me ages to put it in the system. After that. Delete it from the system. Who's at the centre of every transaction? The customer. Right, yeah, of course. So you phone on as many of them as you can to apologise and explain that the trainer got sick. I will get this. Oi! What do you think you're playing at? Hey? I've seen what you've been doing. What have you got in there? Nothing. Gary! <laughs> Steroids. We don't have dealing in there. Get out. Go on, get out. 
that went well. Yeah, you are such a good, brave girl, Hope. Yeah, so it's just back for medicine on Monday, but because you've been such a brave girl, got a surprise for you on the roof. Yeah, wonder what it is. Oh, peeping, are you ready? Ta da! Oh, well, you could have got it ready. Oh. Look at the state of that. Yeah, well, look, love, I'm sure we can. Look, if you want a job doing, do it yourself. Who said that? You did just then. <laughs> Hiya, girls. Hope, oh, what do you think? You could have blown it up. We did. Oh, I hope it's not Pops. Mr Bobby Pops, it scarred me for life, that one. It took the girl from the side. Yeah. All right, look, keep your hair on. Oh, uh, come on, girls, let's go. Uh, come on, darling. Oh, come on. It's cold out here. Hi, Ty. Thanks for that, Roy. Thanks for ruining the moment. I'm sorry. Well, we've just got back in the inflatables flat look. Well, I assure you, it wasn't when I left it. Oh, great, so you've punctured it. Oh, nice one. Well done, mate. If that is anything to do with me, then... Well, who else is it going to be to do with? I'm extremely sorry. Can you not do a patch-up job? Look, who asked you? Tyrone, I, I understand that you're no, under... No, just stop there. Nobody understands what I'm going through at the moment. A bit unfair. Yeah, well, life's not fair, is it? You know that, and you know that. Look, God only knows what's going to happen to Tyrone. But I'll tell you one thing, she's not going to get to see Santa on that roof today, is she? Back off, Tyrone. Roy's done nothing wrong. Look, well, this has got nothing to do with you anyway. So I, I would thank you not to be Roy, rude. I left you in charge and you let Oak down. Oh, but, but I'm being rude, aren't I? Yeah, sorry. My mistake. We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.